Now we begin amino acids. Here's our amino acids page. In this case, it's an amino acids from plasma. Remember, there's an option to measure in plasma or first morning void. There are basically two types of NutraVal, and this is a dividing point. There's the NutraVal with first morning void amino acids and the NutraVal with plasma amino acids, and you need to order the kit based on that. All other sections of the NutraVal are the same. The only differential here is plasma of first morning void amino acids. Plasma amino acids provide a more steady state measure of levels. So that when you're looking at this, for example, this amino acids plasma, you're looking at a time frame of about 24 days regarding the dietary intake of protein. In a first morning void amino acids test, you're really looking at the more immediate dietary intake of protein over the last 24 to 48 hours. So a steady state comes with plasma. A more recent dietary intake of protein comes from first morning void. You see the nutritionally essential amino acids that come from dietary intake of protein, as well as the non-essential amino acids that come from the conversion of the essential amino acids. And they require certain nutrient cofactors for that essential amino acids conversion. So here they are lined up side by side. We talked earlier about pattern recognition. So when I look at the nutritionally essential amino acids, I'm looking for a pattern. If I draw a line pretty much down the middle here, it would appear that most of these amino acids, all of these amino acids, are to the left of that line. In other words, the overall pattern is of low essential amino acids from the diet. On the right, the non-essentials that come from the essential amino acids are also trending low. So it's not an issue, at least demonstrated here, of the essential amino acids having a problem converting to the non-essential. Their patterns are very similar. This may be more about dietary intake of uh, protein in the diet or an inability to utilize that protein effectively. So let's take a look at that question on the next slide. When we look at the nutritionally essential amino acids, again, the pattern is low. So the question that comes to mind now is, is this pattern the result of low protein intake? In which case, I might just change the dietary intake of protein, change the patient's diet. But what if they're eating a pretty robust or moderate uh, level of protein and they're just not breaking down or absorbing it well? In that case, I'm thinking more along the lines of enzyme support, HCL support. There are ways to get a sense of dietary intake of protein on the page. I look at the dietary peptide-related markers. Here you see the 1-methylhistidine at 1.06. 1-methylhistidine provides insight into dietary intake of protein from fish, fowl, chicken, turkey, duck, from meat. So when I look at the pattern of the 1-methylhistidine, it's to the right of the midline. It would appear that this patient is eating a reasonably moderate plus level of protein in their diet. That tells me that perhaps the low essential amino acids pattern is more about utilization of protein, not a lack of dietary intake. 3-methylhistidine reflects fibers from muscle, the actin and myosin fibers from the breakdown of muscle. So for example, if you're going to the gym and working out with weights and tearing and rebuilding muscle fibers, this can go up. If you have some catabolic issue in terms of muscle, muscle wasting, it can go up too. But if not, it can also reflect dietary intake of red meat. So looking at both the 1 and 3 methylhistidine indicates to me that we're looking at a moderate plus level of dietary intake of protein, but we're not seeing that reflected in the essential amino acids. So it's not a matter of eating more protein. It's a question of whether or not you can utilize that protein more effectively. The urea markers, especially the urea, indicate that they're clearing reasonably well. No issue there. The key points for the amino acids? Amino acids are measured in plasma or first morning void. Plasma measurement provides a more steady state time frame. Pattern analysis reveals status of digestion and absorption. 
Amino acids are the precursors to neurotransmitters. Thanks for listening. I'm Stephen Goldman, a medical education specialist at Genova, and I'll see you on the phone.